Hey guys, it's uh, Dalton456 with a long awaited Jeep upgrade. And this is usually one of the first things you'll do whenever you um, upgrade an audio system in a vehicle besides replacing the radio. And I just never got around to it because I never had the money. So I ended up picking up two sets of these Rockford Fosgate Prime uh, five and a quarters to put in my Jeep. I got them for $27 a set. They were um, actually returns on Amazon, which I guess it was just people that weren't happy with the way they sounded or some shit like that. Because when I got them here, the packaging was gone, but the speakers looked brand new, came with all the wiring and the mounts and all that. And uh, I ohmed them out. They all ohmed out the same. So I don't know what the hell the issue was. I guess, like I said, people just weren't satisfied with the way they sounded or something. So let's go ahead and put this grill back on real quick. This grill likes to be a bitch sometimes too. Got that back on. Let's show you guys how they sound. That's what I still have them on my Alpine CDA 105, I mean CDA 9886. And they still sound pretty good for being on head unit power. Get loud, get clear. They don't distort like those stock ones did. So, here we go. Song will be a uh, Requiem of Dream. That's what they do pretty good for uh, $27 speakers. I mean, there's the only other thing I think of that you can really get at that price would be those Skosh speakers. And the problem with Skosh speakers is they don't filter out anything and they sound like shit typically. Then again, most of the installs I've seen with them, it's just people that distort the fuck out of everything because they uh, want more bass out of their doors. So, till next update, later.